Acute appendicitis occurs when the connection between the appendix and cecum becomes blocked, often by a small stone called an appendicolith or overgrowth of lymphoid tissue. This causes fluid to build up in the appendix, resulting in inflammation and infection, and can potentially cause loss of blood flow and rupture of the wall. Acute appendicitis is a common indication for abdominal CT in younger patients presenting with fever, right lower quadrant pain, and elevated white blood cell count. It is also an important diagnosis to consider in older patients, though less common in this group. The normal appendix is usually 6 mm or less in diameter, with clean or dark appearance of the surrounding fat. Notice how the fat surrounding the appendix looks similar to the body wall or other areas in the abdomen. There are three key imaging findings that will help you confidently diagnose acute appendicitis. First, look for a dilated, fluid-filled appendix that is greater than 6 mm in width. Second, look for inflammation around the appendix, that is, stranding or wavy lines and haziness of the fat surrounding the appendix. And third, look for a bright, calcified deposit or deposits in the appendix. This is the appendicolith, and it can obstruct the lumen and be the cause of appendicitis. Let's see which of those key findings helps us make the diagnosis in this case. We'll scroll down to the right lower quadrant following the ascending colon. Here is the terminal ilium coming into the ileocecal valve and into the cecum. Scrolling down a few centimeters, we find the appendix arising from the back of the cecum, and it has a thick and enhancing wall with surrounding inflammation. Here are the same findings on coronal images. Starting with the terminal ilium, we can follow it to the ileocecal valve and into the cecum. Scrolling back a few centimeters, we find the dilated and thick-walled appendix arising with a blind end and surrounding stranding and inflammation consistent with acute, uncomplicated appendicitis. That covers uncomplicated appendicitis, but what about when the appendix ruptures or perforates? Many people expect to see a straightforward, well-defined perforation with air and fluid outside of the appendix. While that may be the case with some patients, there is actually a spectrum of presentations from early perforation to later perforation, and this will greatly influence what you see. There are three essential imaging findings that will help you characterize complications related to rupture or perforation of the appendix. First, the thin enhancing wall of the appendix will become discontinuous at the site of perforation. You will also see a large amount of inflammation in the right lower quadrant affecting nearby structures, which can be described as localized peritonitis. Lastly, abscess formation will occur from the contents that leaked out of the ruptured appendix. An abscess will look like a fluid density collection with a variably thick and enhancing wall depending upon how organized or walled off the collection is. Let's see which of those key findings helps us make the diagnosis in this case. We'll scroll down to the right lower quadrant following the ascending colon. As we reach the right lower quadrant, we notice the dilated tubular structure with surrounding stranding and inflammation. Let's take a look at the coronal images, which helps us get a better idea of what's going on. Starting with our landmarks, this is the ascending colon and the cecum. As we scroll back, we find the dilated, thick-walled, and irregular appendix, with a few key differences from the first case. First, there are two densities within the lumen. These are appendicoliths. Second, there is discontinuity of the wall, which is enhancing and thick, but has a gap here along the middle margin. Outside of that margin are several small dots of air. There is also extensive surrounding inflammation, indicating perforation. So I hope you liked this video. Absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how MetMastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About MetMastery video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.